Hi, this is Muhammad from Global Techs, and in this video, we'll showcase you Odoo version 10 Magento 2 connector. So, we'll be starting with the introduction part, and we'll show you how to create instances and how to create Magento shops in Odoo and managing your own workflows and the initial import. So, here you can see I'm in Odoo right now, and we have different modules available with us, including the Magento connector which we have already installed, and uh, with other apps so let's go into the magento part and once i click on magento you can see that we have dashboards available with us where you can take necessary actions on the dashboard itself we have two stores right now created so based on the magento shops you have it will showcase here the number of shops on the dashboard you can manage your order pending order and draft order etc so let's go into the magento instance part and we will start by creating a new instance so you can click on the create button and once you click on create button a form will open where you can put the name of your instance the location the username and the password after adding all the information you can click on load magento stores so once you click here your magento stores will get imported in odoo so let me showcase you with the one of the existing instance which we have already created so this is the instance let me edit this here we have the name of the instance the location the username and the password which we have already added so let me just uh, click on the save button or uh, let me discard this and uh, then we can move forward with the magento shop part so after adding all these information we'll go into the magento shops so we have two shops available right now so let's go into one of the shop here you can see all the list of details about the shop which we have already created in Udo from magento and from here you can take uh, different necessary actions like importing customer group and importing customers importing orders then importing your invoices exporting shipment importing picking and exporting invoices so this is the uh, base area where you can manage things from the sh for the shop itself and we have another part which is workflow and settings so to create your own workflows based on your requirements you can click on create button you can give the name of your workflow based on your business processes then you can we have shipment and order part where you can set the shipping policy and uh, you can uh, click on validate order part in case you require and uh, we have you can also manage reserve quantity part and complete shipment area based on your workflows based on your business processes you can manage it the shipment and order part another part is the invoicing part where you can set the invoicing policies so we have order quantity delivered quantity invoice based on time and material so you can also check box on create invoice in case once the order has been placed in magento what needs to be done like you can create the invoice directly from Udo. so for that you just need to check box that create invoice part or if you want to validate the invoice in Udo, you can click on validate invoice or in case if you want to register the payments in Udo, so you can register the payment part here so we have shipment export magento where you have uh, two different options available so you can uh, select any one of them we have on creation and done so let me just open it so you can uh, click on the options you want in your workflow for shipment or export to magento and after that we have uh, invoice export to magento there are three options available you can select the options as per your requirement so based on your requirement you can put it we have also the ship product part where you can select the shipping product and apart from that uh, you can also directly uh, update your inventory in real time with this checkbox so in case you update your inventory in Udo and you want to update in Magento you can do that by clicking on this checkbox 
and uh, there is another part which is discount product so you can select the discount product so let me just select discount product here okay and then uh, we also have the real update uh, order status so whenever you want a real time update of your order status you can check box this so this or uh, this whole workflow differs based on your business requirements and we also have the accounting part and the inventory part where you can set your sales journal you can see set the price list then again stock location in case you have multiple stock location then warehouse also you can set up for the inventory part and in case you have a uh, multi company you can uh, just select the multi company part also you can manage your company from here itself so let me just uh, discard this part and i will show you the existing workflow which we have already created so this is the test uh, demo workflow which we have already created here so it's a very basic one right now so let's go into the another part of our uh, demo where we can uh, showcase you in magento instance we'll click on one of the instance and we'll showcase you the three part in this video which is import attribute set import categories and import product attributes so let's start with the import uh, attribute set first so to do that first we will click on import attribute set button and once we click on import attribute set all the attribute set which you have uh, created in magento will get imported into udo so here are the list of uh, your attribute sets where we can see that uh, we have uh, different attribute sets and let's go in one of the attribute sets here you can see we have this one as an attribute set with whole detailing including the magento instance to which magento instance it's belong so let's go into again magento instance and let's initiate with the import category part so i will click on import category button so once i click there all your product categories will get imported so let's uh, initiate with the sales module and uh, in sales module uh, we cannot see right now the categories right now so let's go in the settings and activate the developer mode so i will click on activate the developer mode and now we can see all the categories in udo so let's go again the sales module and uh, here you can see that in products we have product categories available so these are all are your product categories from magento which has been imported into udo and uh, these are complete detail about your category so once that is done you can again go into the magento part and in magento you can click on magento instance and from there we can import the product attributes so after clicking this button all your product attributes in magento will get imported so this is the attributes which we have so let's go in one of the attribute and here you can see the details which is available with us about the attributes and attributes set so let's go into uh, another part of this video here you can see we have all the details about the attributes in this video we will continue the second part of udo 10 magento connector where we will manage the dashboard import products importing images taxes customer group customers orders and invoicing and picking so let's start with the dashboard part first here you can see that we are on magento udo version 10 and we have the store view here available for two different stores for each store you can manage individually like import update and export from udo itself and we have two right now so you can manage uh, all your uh, orders you can manage pending orders completed orders draft orders cancel orders and so on so let me just initiate with the import part first so from here you can import everything so for importing from dashboard you can just check box and based on your checkboxes 
you can click on run button and everything will get imported you can also select the date for your import in case required for particular date orders so once you are done you can just click on the run button and uh, let's go into the second part of the video where we'll go in the magento instance and we'll click on one of the instance we have already covered the import attribute sets categories and product attributes in our first video so now we will be covering the second part of the video where we'll manage the import product import images syncing the products to magento and uh, we will be also covering the area of importing the taxes from magento into udo so let's initiate with importing products from magento to udo so to import the product i will simply click on the import product button which is there in the sync product details tab so once i click the import product button you can see we have all the products imported here so let's go into one of the product which has been imported so we also have the list view for checking the product so this is one of the product which has been imported and um, there are variants you can see and uh, you can see all the other information about the product like inventory then uh, we have the sales part then variants where you can see both the variants for this particular product then invoicing and the notes so you can also click on the magento template uh, button after editing to check the magento details so once you checkbox that you can see that you will get magento details like you can see the type of the product <clears throat> then status of the product whether enable or disable the visibility of the product and you can also select the attribute sets from here after adding all these you can just click on save button and uh, you can also see the magento sq and from this sq let's go into uh, the product variants part by copying this sq and let me just paste it here and once you paste it and you search here you can see all the list of product variants related to this sq so let's go into one of the product variant so here you can see that uh, this is another uh, product variant where you can see we have the display name and the attributes for this particular product variant then we have the meta information magento tire pricing then special price and export to magento part you can also see that we have magento images which has been imported you can click on this images to download it so once this is completed we'll just go again in the magento instance to show you how to import product images in udo from magento so let's go in the magento instance and from there we'll click on the instance and sync product details and we'll click on import images button once you click on import images button all your images product images will get imported into udo so let's again go in the product variants and this is one of the product where you can see the product images the name and the image you can download it from here only and you can also upload it from here in case required so this is one of the detail of your images like the name the image label url and so on so another part is importing the taxes in udo from magento so we'll go in the magento instance and then we'll click on the taxes tab so here you can just click on the import taxes button after clicking the import taxes button you can go in the additional information where you can see that there are different taxes which is there available so you can click uh, one of the taxes where you can see that this tax has been applied for magento tax so based on your tax policies you can set up taxes in magento and you can import it in udo and you can also see the magento instance for which this tax belongs to so another part is the importing customer groups in udo from magento so for that you need to go into the magento shops 
you can click on one of the magento shops and here you can see we have uh, different uh, things like managing the customers and managing the orders so we'll click on the import customer group but before that you can we need to edit this and we need to select the workflow so based on your workflow selected the import will happen and the functionality will run so here right now we will select the test one and we'll click on save button once we save this we can click on import customer group so what this will do this will import all your customer group in Udo from your Magento store so if you see here we are just in Udo only we are not going in the back end of Magento right now so everything can be managed from Udo itself here are the list of customer groups so let's go into one of the customer group and we can see all the details about that particular customer group so now let's uh, move into another part which is importing your customers in Udo from Magento for that we will go into the Magento shop similar way we'll click on one of the Magento store and then we'll click on the import customer button after clicking on import customer button what will happen all your customers will get imported in Udo so let's go into the sales part and from sales you can click on the customers and here are the list of customers this is a demo version so we can just see this that there is one of the one of the customers where you can see all the detail about the customer like address shipping address date of birth etc the num the amount of invoice has been done by that particular customer the customer group which it belongs to and so this was the base information which get collected in Udo from your Magento store so after importing all your uh, customers we will go into the another part which is importing all your Magento orders into Udo software so for that you need to go into Magento shops then click on one of the Magento sh store and you can click on the import order button once you click on import order button all your orders from Magento will get imported into Udo and you get the benefit of managing your whole e-commerce website in the ERP software itself. So we have imported the orders. So let's go into all orders. And here you can see that we have all orders uh, available. We'll click on one of the order and here you can see that this is the order which has been already imported in Udo with all the details of the products which has been purchased by this particular customer. You can also see the Magento details like uh, base currency code, shipping amount, etc. In other information, you get shipping information where we have the inco terms and shipping policy and the sales information like here the order status is pending right now. So let's go in the pending order also here you can see we have the list of pending orders which you can manage from here so another part is importing your picking in Udo from magento so we'll go in the magento shop and we'll click on one of the magento shop and we'll click on the import picking button what it will do it will import all your picking in Udo from your Magento store so now let's uh, go into the orders so here you can see that you know basically previously this was not a uh, checkbox like the ship part so now after importing the picking you can see that it is checkbox so once we click on one of the customer you can see that there has been a delivery created here for this particular order so you can just click on the delivery also to check here we have all the information and this is now in the done stage so another part is the importing invoice in Udo from Magento so for that we will again go into the Magento shops we'll click on one of the Magento shop and then we'll click on the import invoice button after importing the invoice button 
we will see that all our invoices has been imported in Udo from the Magento orders. So once we click on all orders, we can see here now the invoice has been checkbox, which means these invoice has been imported. So let's go in one of the order. So once we click on the order, we can see here now that previously delivery was created and now the invoice has been created. So you can just click on the invoice button and you can see that now this invoice has been in the page stage including all the details about the product, the invoicing lines and the date of the invoice. So basically this was all about the Udo Magento connector which is in Udo version 10 and Magento 2 and in this video will showcase you the export functionality of Udo 10 Magento 2 connector. So these are the areas which we will be covering like exporting products to Magento, stock to Magento, exporting your invoice, exporting the shipment and updates functionality which we will explain. So let's start with the export product to Magento part first. So as you can see here I am in Magento. Uh, we have uh, Magento instance and uh, I will go in one of the instance and uh, I will click on the product part first. So let me just uh, put the product name which we have already created. So before uh, exporting the product, uh, one should create a product in Odoo, right? So uh, let me just uh, put the product name here which we have already created but not exported to Magento. So this is the product which we have already created with three variants. So let's open this and here as you can see that we have product name and all the information and uh, we have uh, template exported so here you can see it is not checked yet which means it is not exported right now so uh, and apart from that you can see we have journal information where we have put the product type and there is no magento id also right now so since this is not exported uh, the magento id is not yet generated we have the uh, inventory part uh, we have uh, sales part which we have added and whatever information you can put uh, while creating the new product so we have the magento details where we have uh, added the type as configurable product and status is enable and uh, attribute set as uh, we have already set up so we'll click on the save button after adding all the information in Udo. So once that is completed, we can also see the variants here. We have created three variant of this particular product where we have, uh, this is the first uh, variant with all the information. And uh, there are three variants of this product. So let's again uh, go into the Magento instance and we will export the product from Magento, uh, Udo to Magento. So I will click on sync product to Magento. But before that, let me just show you that this product is not available in Magento right now. So let me just uh, go into the sales part. Okay, let's go in uh, product and we'll click on catalog and we'll search uh, this product with the name we have given. So let me click on the filters part and I will put the SQ. So it was MT14 and we'll click on apply. So here you can see that there is no records for this product. And now let's go in Udo and click on sync products to Magento. So once we click on this button, all your products will get uh, exported to Magento. So we are taking a single product example right now, but you can uh, export multiple product at one time. So let's again search for that product which we have uh, exported and uh, here you can see that template is exported now. Previously it was not checked and we have also generated the ID from Magento which is 2170. So now let's go in Magento and I will again check for this product whether this product is there or not. So let's put the product SQ and we'll click on apply but let me let me refresh the magento part okay so we'll active this filter 
and here you can see that uh, we have the product and its variants exported from Odoo to Magento. Let's click on that particular product. So we have all the details coming from Odoo into Magento. Including the variants which was there with that particular product. So this was the uh, part for uh, exporting your products in Magento from Odoo. Now let's move to another part which is exporting the stock to Magento from Odoo. So to export the stock first I will go into the Magento uh, instance. You can also uh, export your stock from here directly. You can just check box whatever you want to export and you can click on the run button and automatically it will get exported or if you want you can put a schedule or if there are uh, you know lot many number of products which you want to export every uh, minute or every hour so let's go in one of the uh, product so again we will take example of that product only so here we are taking the uh, example of the variants and we'll click on update quantity on hand and we'll put the new quantity in Udo. So after putting that we'll click on apply button and uh, once that is done we will uh, see we can see here 50 quantity on hand and we will click on this button update product and once we click that uh, it will uh, update the product in Magento. So right now, uh, this is these are the variants and uh, one of the example of variants we have taken. So let me just uh, refresh uh, the button. And this was the product where we have updated the quantity which was previously zero and we made it 50. So here you can see that we have a uh, 50 quantity right now for this particular variant. So let's go again in the Magento module and we'll showcase you the third area which is exporting the invoices. So you can just check box and click on run button for exporting all your invoices. So let's take uh, an example of order. Uh, here you can see we have different orders and this is one of, one of the order where invoice is not yet raised. So I will just click on this order and here you can see that there is no invoice which has been raised till now so I will confirm the sale and once I confirm it will go into the sales order and here you can see delivery is created and uh, I will click on create invoice button I will uh, click on invoiceable lines and uh, I will click on create invoice button so here now you can see that uh, we have delivery plus invoices also created based on our workflow so uh, you can see now the invoice is in draft stage once i validate it will go into the open stage and i will register the payment so i will select my journal which will be bank journal and i will click on validate button once i do that it will go in the paid stage and this was the uh, order where we have also created the delivery part so let's just uh, finalize with the delivery also so here I will put the deliver information which is the career and the tracking reference ID. Once I do that I will click on save button. Okay so we are done with the delivery part also. And uh, now let's go into magento shop and we'll click off one of the store and we can now click on export invoice button once we click there your uh, invoice will get exported into magento so 
so let's go in the sales and the orders part so here in order we can see that uh, we have uh, let's go in uh, Udo only and uh, we'll go in the all orders part and here you can see that the invoice is been now checked box okay so this was the order id and we will search on this uh, order id and here you can see that we have this uh, order id so we can click on that order and we can see all the information including the invoice part so here is the invoice which we have created from Udo and exported into magento so then now let's go into the shipment part where we will export the shipment to magento so there is no any uh, there is no records right now here uh, so we will uh, export the shipment from Udo into magento for that we'll go into Udo we'll click uh, on uh, export shipment button and once we do that the shipment will get exported into magento so let me just uh, refresh this button and here uh, in Udo you can see that this checkbox as shipped so after refreshing the button we can click on shipments and here you can see that the shipment has been exported we can click on the shipment to check the detail and uh, we have added the tracking number and uh, the shipping courier so this can be seen here so i will showcase you the update functions uh, which can be done so you can go into dashboard and uh, you can see we have update button where you can update the categories you can update the products you can update the stock you can just check box it as per your requirement and click on the run button so what the update button do is that whenever you do any changes in uh, your magento so uh, whenever you click on update uh, button it will uh, update everything in O2. So this is the base functionality of uh, update button. So with this, uh, we end this video of Udo Magento Connector. Uh, for more information, you can visit our website www.globaltext.com or email us on sales at globaltext.com. Thank you.